I am revealing my secret project, which isn't really a secret. If you guys have been following, you probably caught on to it, but I am growing a giant pumpkin. So I planted this guy in just a little rock wool cube, and I'll be transplanting it into this larger six inch one. Uh, this one's really asking to be transplanted. I probably left it too long. The roots are just busting out of the bottom here and uh, really, really needs to be put into something bigger. So I have my rainwater ready here and I'm just going to mix up a few specialty items and then soak the cube in that and hopefully it will give this pumpkin a good head start on things to come. Of course, you gotta have the magical Super Thrive. I'll also be putting in some liquid seaweed extract. Uh, just a little propagator for the roots. So I'm just gonna give it a stir. and test the pH on this guy. So that's right around the 5.5, right where I want it. So I'm gonna soak this cube and leave it for about 20 minutes or so. And uh, while we're waiting for that to get done, I'll explain to you guys a little bit what I did to get the seed for this one started. So I ended up getting two seeds and I was lucky to have one of them germinate and the one that germinated cost me for one seed $12 and this thing was actually from 2008 so also lucky with that that it germinated. It's an older seed and uh, it weighed in at 1,231 pounds so hoping to have some good genetics here with this seed. Now with the other one, uh, not so lucky. It did not germinate, but it was also an expensive seed. $10 for one seed, and this was 1,065 pounds. And I'm not sure why it didn't germinate, but let's take a look here. Who knows, it doesn't really look rotted. I could probably keep this soaked again and just see if it does germinate, but a little late here for this one. So there's a lot of information online about how to germinate a pumpkin seed and a lot of weird stuff that they say from using files and using grinders, uh, pre-soaking the seeds for a few days and the different mixes and stuff that they say seedlings like. I'm just trying a few of these ideas, but I am going to be a little bit cautious with a lot of them just because I want to make sure this thing grows and that I don't kill it off. Now, like I said, I want to do this as a hydroponic grow, and I've been trying to think of a few ideas how to do this, but just given the amount of time I have before I go back to work, I'm a little limited, so I think I might do this as a DWC. At least start it off that way anyways, and then we'll maybe progress from there next month when I have a little bit more time to work on this. So, of course, it's going to be a supersized DWC, and uh, really hoping that this is going to work. So we're pretty much done here with this. I'm just going to take it out and uh, we can go ahead and transplant the smaller rock wool cube into the larger 6 inch one. So there we go, that's in there, and all we have to do now is wait. Uh, a little worried I might have broken the root on here when I did it, uh, so hopefully it won't mind that too much, but uh, fingers crossed this thing will like its new six inch cube. I'm just gonna put this outside now, and uh, as for the rest of this stuff that wasn't absorbed by the cube, I'm gonna use this as plant food, so I'll see you guys next time and uh, hopefully have some more projects on the go. Thanks.